Hello and welcome to the history of Star Trek. Today's episode, the Type 7 Shuttlecraft. The Type 7 Shuttlecraft was a type of Starfleet shuttlecraft carried on board Federation starships during the 24th century. The Type 7 Shuttlecraft was introduced sometime prior to 2364. They were standard shuttlecrafts on board Galaxy Class, Excelsior Class, and Nebula Class starships in the mid to late 24th century. The Type 7 Shuttlecraft was a short to medium range auxiliary craft. Some shuttles were equipped with warp drive and were useful for interstellar travel, while others were restricted to impulse speeds. The impulse engines were located at the very aft of the vessel. The shuttles were also equipped with maneuvering jets. The shuttles were typically unarmed and had minimal deflector shield coverage. They had escape transporters which could be reconfigured for use as standard transporters if necessary. The forward cockpit contained two seats, each with a small console and a view out the shuttlecraft window. In the center of the cockpit was a large display which gave navigational information and acted as a view screen. The aft area had a passenger seating and sensor control. By 2369, most Type 7 shuttlecrafts had interiors very similar to that of the Type 6 shuttlecraft. The hull markings were also changed around 2367. Originally, the shuttle had Starfleet pennants alongside its nacelle pylons, and the full Starfleet registry number of its attached vessel on its rear hull in a narrow italic font, with the shuttle number in a large font along the mid hull. Later, shuttles had the registry number without the prefix in the standard font used on the hull of starships, the Starfleet pennants along the ship's belt, and the shuttle number in a smaller font contained within the lines of the pennants. Hey, thank you for watching the history of Star Trek. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you can. If you have, thank you, and have a nice day. Goodbye.